so to tie all these things, all these together, there's you, you could create all kinds of fancy systems to attach the uh, the concrete and the and the re, or the pool wall steel and the re rod steel together. All that we do is we take our rod and we bend it and we tie it through into the steel wall, and then make sure that we encapsulate. Instead of starting our concrete here, we encapsulate our concrete all the way back to here. So this entire brace is completely encapsulated in the cement that comes around here and what that does is that stiffens these walls two together directly and that's not because this it's all now encapsulating concrete we have no issues with just this shifting and moving um, what we have done in the past is we've run bolts through with different types of brackets and things but we've found that as long as we get three rod in here and oftentimes the day we shoot we'll add a couple more just for that extra security that once you get that in there it locks in really well and we have no issue because the vinyl liner extends over and then attaches to the concrete over here so even if there's movement in this at all we don't have to worry about it leaking because it's behind the vinyl and if that if that wall is moving slightly um, the vinyl liner is what's can, what's it's what's holding the water so this is just structural but it's not holding the water. Instead, the vinyl liner is. And that's why we attach over here instead of back over here with the vinyl liner. We bring the liner all the way over onto concrete and attach it down. And that way, we don't have to worry about the seam at all.